Okay, students. Now I would like to tell you about the volcanic eruption and how igneous rock is formed. The name is igneous rock is formed. I'm writing over here. That means now I'm going to tell you about the varieties and different kinds of rocks and their cycle, the rock cycle. Okay. For that you need to know what is igneous rock and how is it formed. So igneous rock obviously for understanding it we have to understand the volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruption. Now what happens? This is a volcanic mountain as you can see very clearly. This is a volcanic uh, mountain. Okay. And obviously when inside the mountain there are rocks. Okay under the ground under the crust there are rocks that is the rocks in the mantle which will become into molten form with the high temperature and pressure with which will become the molten which will come into the molten form under high temperature it will melt and under high pressure it will again become solidified it will again solidify okay so before it solidifies it is in the molten form with the high temperature not with pressure high temperature it is in the molten form now what will happen that molten magma will now rise to the vent this is vent the opening the mouth the mouth of the volcanic mountain is known as vent and the cracks and the cracks in the mountain is known as fissure okay so that magma molten means melt hmm that molten magma will come outside the volcanic mountain and becomes lava becomes lava okay it can come through the fissures also and it can come through the vent that is the opening the mouth also now when it comes outside in the atmosphere when it comes outside in the air gets in contact with the air what happens that it comes in contact with the air hmm? it cools down the mag uh, the lava cools down and forms this kind of structure the rock kind of structure it starts solidifying it starts making a shape okay it is accumulated in one place and then it cools down with the air blowing and it becomes igneous rock okay sometimes the rainfall is also there because whenever there will be uh, lava eruption volcanic eruption the environment will become very hot and very warm with that evaporation will happen as soon as the evaporation will happen it will frame clouds on the sky uh, in the sky and then clouds will uh, you know uh, you know the fissures also and it can come through the vent that is the opening the mouth also now when it comes outside in the atmosphere when it comes outside in the air gets in contact with the air what happens that it comes in contact with the air hmm? it cools down the mag uh, the lava cools down and forms this kind of structure the rock kind of structure it starts solidifying it starts making a shape okay it is accumulated in one place and then it cools down with the air blowing and it becomes igneous rock okay sometimes the rainfall is also there because whenever there will be uh, lava eruption volcanic eruption the environment will become very hot and very warm with that evaporation will happen as soon as the evaporation will happen it will frame clouds on the sky uh, in the sky and then clouds will uh, you know uh, you know break down to the rain so clouds have broken down to the rain again it becomes more and more cooler and it gets solidified with the heavy rainfall now it will start breaking into pieces with the heavy rainfall these igneous rocks these igneous rocks 
will start breaking into pieces and will flow with the water. Maybe there is a fountain nearby, so it will flow in the fountain and will join the rivers. Okay. Maybe there is a too much rainfall, too heavy rainfall, very heavy rainfall. So it will again broken into it, it will be broken into pieces and will flow with the water. Okay. So next part will be sedimentary rocks. After how igneous rocks are made how igneous rocks are formed that you have understood in this explanation and now when it will flow with the river with the water with the fountains with the springs then now what will happen how will the sedimentary rocks form okay that i'll tell yes students as i have told in the earlier video in the previous video that how igneous rocks are formed but i have told you only how igneous rocks are formed formed through the volcanic eruption okay so that though uh, the rocks which i told you in the previous video are igneous rock and are known as extrusive volcanic igneous rocks extrusive volcanic igneous rocks this is because igneous rocks are of two types igneous rocks are of two types first is intrusive known as plutonic and second one is extrusive igneous rocks which are known as volcanic igneous rocks the thing which i explained to you the, the igneous rocks which i explained to you was the uh, your extrusive igneous rock which was actually coming out as the um, firstly it was magma magma means the molten the melt form of the rocks pigla hua rocks ka form that was actually erupting out because the great pressure was there from the ground from under the ground so that magma when came out it became lava and lava when dried off cooled off hmm, solidified it became extrusive igneous rocks but children there is another igneous rock known as intrusive igneous rock which don't come out as lava but they start cooling off they start cooling off they start drying off just under the crust only just before erupting out okay just under the mountain only just under the crust only they start drying off they start cooling off they start solidifying and they become intrusive in in means inside the ground the uh, molten material which becomes cool makes intrusive igneous rock and which come out as lava and then dried off and then settle down that is known as extrusive igneous rock okay now extrusive igneous rock have ex uh, has examples Bas basal uh, basalt and andesite these two kinds of rocks are example of extrusive that means which was coming out of the volcano yeah those igneous rocks extrusive volcanic igneous rocks okay and intrusive igneous rock plutonic also known as plutonic example of this intrusive igneous rock is granite and gabbro granite granite and gap now extrusive igneous rock because it comes out at once and suddenly it solid uh, you know solidifies it takes less time to solidify that means they have small particles they have small particles inke jo particles hote hain inke jo texture hota hai extrusive igneous rock ka wo bahut hi small and fine hota hai and large particles are found here in the intrusive igneous rocks because it takes time to solidify and i so it has big particles of the rocks ex intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks also known as primary rocks has two types intrusive under the ground it happens and extrusive which comes out in the form of lava and then solidifies and cools down okay now these kind of rocks these kind of igneous rocks they flow with the water as i told you the weathering is done whenever there is a rock okay water heavy waterfall will be there heavy rainfall will be there and it will be broken into further more pieces and those small pieces will be you know uh, taken away with the help of wind or taken away with the help of water 
huh? it will flow down with the water and will join the river like this here you can see a diagram which I have made see this is the volcanic mountain okay from here the lava has come out and now this igneous rock has broken into particles with the heavy rainfall and then flowing in the river when these particles will flow in the river they will be broken into further more smaller particles further smaller particles even more and more particles the number will keep on exceeding smaller particles and the size will keep on decreasing okay and now what will happen similarly just uh, just think about a situation when you pour a uh, you know a water taken out from the river taken out from any other uh, not clean water okay you just taken out a you know mug of water a jug of water from the pond or river and you pour in the glass okay what will happen after few minutes you will see there will be small small sediments which will settle down at the base of the glass and the clean water will be visible at the top hai na? so the things which are settled down at the base of the glass are known as sediments something similar happens here while rocks are small particles of rocks are flowing with the river something same is happening here the particles are settled down at the base of the river in the river bed on the river bed they are settled down on the river bed and the water is flowing at the top so these are sedimentary rocks which are settled down at the base of the river bed known as secondary rocks also number one characteristics are particles which settle down under the water are known as sediments so they in process form sedimentary rocks what is the process the process is they are suppressed okay they are suppressed they are compressed they are hardened means wo zameen ke niche dhaste rehte hain dabte rehte hain and slowly and steadily their shape becomes harder and harder their texture becomes harder and harder just because they are you know compressed and suppressed at the river base what kind of examples are there for sedimentary rocks sandstone then limestone chuna mitti sandstone gravel stone clay okay shale and gravel these are the examples of sedimentary rocks and also fossils are the example of sedimentary rocks fossils yes children fossils the dead of animals and plants the dead of animals and plants which are found you know which are suppressed since years under the ground those are fossils the dead of animals and plants example of such kind of fossil rocks which are also known as sedimentary rocks are coal yes coal is actually a fuel huh? but a rock also which rock sedimentary rock how it is formed it is formed by the dead of animals and plants organic matter also known as fossils understood so this is the thing of sedimentary rock this is explanation of sedimentary rock now the third one and the most important one metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are the hardest rocks okay metamorphic rocks are the hardest rocks now if you remember in the previous video i have told you anything under high temperature it starts melting but when the same thing is put under extreme the highest temperature and the highest pressure extreme pressure great temperature also and secondly the pressure also huh when that thing is put under highest temperature and great pressure it again becomes hard firstly you started heating up a substance it started melting up melting down again that substance is more and more heated more and more temperature is thrown to it and also it is under great pressure then it becomes harder and it takes the shape same happens here with the metamorphic rock metamorphic rocks are made when igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks are under extreme high temperature and pressure listen again metamorphic rocks are formed when igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks are put under 
high temperature, extreme high temperature and pressure. So they change their shape into the hardest form. They become hardened. Then what happens? Metamorphic rocks are formed. For example, coal. Coal which is a sedimentary rock. Coal which is a sedimentary rock changes itself into carbon. Coal which is a sedimentary rock changes itself into carbon when coal is put under very high pressure and high temperature. Clay which is again a sedimentary rock changes into slate when it is put under high temperature and high pressure and these carbon slate marble these are all metamorphic rocks limestone which is a sedimentary rock changes into marble marble is a metamorphic rock why it changes into marble because why it changes into marble because limestone was put under extreme high pressure and Temperature, extreme high pressure and temperature. Another more example I can give you, shale. Shale is again a sedimentary rock, will changes into, you know, changes into slate. Yes, slate, okay, which changes into slate. Slate is metamorphic rock. Slate is metamorphic rock under extreme high temperature and pressure. I hope you have understood all three rocks and also you have understood the cycle that Igneous rock firstly formed from vol volcanic eruption and also sometimes under the ground from the magma only and they become extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks and then with the process of weathering they flows with the river and they settle down at the base of the river to form the sedimentary rocks under suppression compression and they start hardening okay examples are very much clear to have told you fossils are also kind of sedimentary rocks and then comes your metamorphic rocks where mostly the sedimentary rocks are changed into metamorphic rocks but under extreme high pressure and temperature. Okay, now in the next uh, video, I will draw the diagram of uh, your this one cycle, rock cycle, where it will be too much clear and the chapter will be ended with that cycle. Thank you.